My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there's none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there's none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and ma majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down, and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down, and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hand. Forever I love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Spirit of the living God, we are here today. What you want to, we are here to look today to learn what you want to teach us. Teach away, dear God. Have us learn and help us to become prayer warriors. Thank you. Amen. Hello. John 737 says, In the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus. Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Thirst. Desire it. Matthew 5, 6 says, Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, and for they shall be filled. Desire to be holy, to live according to how He wants you to live, and He will see to it that you are given the needed helper. Hebrews 13.6 says, So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. First, First Chronicle twelve nineteen says, Then the Spirit came upon a Messiah, who was chief of the captains, 
And he said, Thine are we, David, and on thy side, thy son of, Je Je thy son of Jesse, peace, peace be unto thee, and peace be to thine helpers, for thy God helpeth thee. And then David received them, made them captains of the band. God will help you. His Spirit will help you in your infirmities. Romans 8.26 says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. To experience God, we must actively want to have said experience. He won't bless you with an occurrence that will remove all the doubt in your faith if you don't desire to be blessed. He won't, for, he won't force himself on you. If, if any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Come, pray, and read. Listen to the voice of God. James 4, 8 says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Come to him, and he will come to you. How, do, how does one come to God? Prayer and study. Bible study. How does God come to you? Meditation. Psalm 143 verse 5 says, I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse on the works of thy hands. To meditate is to muse on something. To muse on something is to think in silence as on some subject. To meditate is to think about it. To draw near to God, read the Bible. To have Him draw near to you, simply think about what you've read. God is saying here, to, to, to have successfully accomplished the first one must have done the second. Think about what you've read and understand that if God did it for somebody else, He'll do it for you. Expect Him to be true to His word, for this is faith. If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink. Drink. Water, water enters your mouth you choose to swallow. Water just sitting there does nothing for you. For it to nourish your body, it needs to be swallowed. In the same way, a Bible resting on your bookshelf does nothing for you. For it to nourish your soul, it needs to be read. Experiencing God is a decision. He does not make that decision. You do. Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Once you are saved and are baptized in the Spirit, He is in you. To experience Him, simply desire it, come to Him, and make the decision. Open your mouth, start making any sound at all, and He'll give you the next to make. Make this sound and believe you are speaking in tongues. You are speaking in tongues. This will build you up spiritually and strengthen your faith. The king, 
James' word for this is edification. 1 Corinthians 14.4 He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesieth edifieth the church. Decide for yourself to have an encounter with God. Recognize your need. Read the Bible. Meditate on and pray the word. Listen before and after prayer. Require God to keep his word. Submit to God. Accept everything as from God. Pray God's will. Allow God to work. Grow. Expect an answer. Pray in the Spirit. Be confident in your authority. Outline your prayer. Be real with God. Seek God first. Be led by the Spirit. Let go and let God. Pray to the Spirit. Encounter God. Spirit of living God, thank you for giving us the option to build up our own spirit when we want a closer walk with you. Thank you and keep us safe. Amen.